<laughs> you are the Supreme Lord to be worshipped by every living being. Thus I fall down to offer you my respects and ask your mercy. Please tolerate the wrongs that I may have done to you and bear with me as a father with his son or a friend with his friend or a lover with his beloved. Krishna's devotees relate to Krishna in various relationships. One might treat Krishna as a son, one might treat Krishna as a husband, as a friend, as a master, etc. Krishna and Arjuna are related in friendship. As the father tolerates, or the husband or master tolerates, so Krishna tolerates. The significant point is tolerance, isn't it? Krishna tolerates. When that Krishna came as Gaurang Mahaprabhu, he teaches that. Tarodiva Krishnuma. As tolerant as a tree, one should cultivate this quality. This tolerance. Tolerance is a very good quality. How can we develop such tolerance? No, no. No, no. By working on ourselves. Huh? By working on ourselves. By chanting Hare Krishna. You understand? This will give you this quality. Automatically this quality will develop tolerance. Those who don't chant Hare Krishna, they are very, very intolerant. They cannot be tolerant. You understand? So Mahaprabhu teaches this thing. Tauri was a Vishnu now, you see. They are tolerant as trees. You see. Or trees tolerate. So, Bhakta, devotee, Srimad Mahaprabhu, they develop this quality, tolerance. And this chanting, Hare Krishna, automatically gives this quality. You understand? And this is a very good quality. Mm. And this quality is there in the Supreme Lord. He tolerates. And Arjuna is now requesting Krishna, the Supreme Lord, tolerate my offenses, my mistakes I have committed. You understand? Giving example, as the husband tolerates from the mistakes of wife, the friend tolerates from the friend's mistakes, and father tolerates the son's mistakes like that. As his supreme father, the supreme friend, he should tolerate. Oh. And that is a good quality. And Krishna is supreme in all aspects, also he has developed this supreme quality. So we have this also story there. There was once there was a discussion among the rishi saints, among this who is Bhagavan out of Brahma, Vishnu and Maheshwara. There is who is really Bhagavan. So they asked Bhagavan, you please go and test this tree. Deities, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahaswara. And then tell us who the conclusions you are arrived at. Who is Bhagavan really? So, Prabhu, when you went, first you went to Brahma, Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma happened to be the father and master, spiritual master of Prabhu. You understand? So, Prabhu, when you are a son, and disciples of Brahma ought to show respect. But when he approached Brahma, he didn't show any respect. You understand? So Brahma got angry in his mind. He didn't say anything, but he got angry in his mind. Some of his facial expression indicated that he, that he got angry. So Brahmani could understand. And Brahma got angry. Then he went to Lord Shiva. Then then. Lord Shiva was sitting with his wife, Uma, Parvati Devi. Then then. Hmm. Keeping herself on his lap. Parvati Devi was sitting in his lap. So, 
Who the woman you went there and said, How sunless you are? Yeah, just uh, allowing your wife to sit and laugh. Huh? And you are naked, and you have got lamp up, the scalps, bones, and the system eggs. Nasty creature. <laughs> like that. <laughs> he told. And Lord Shiva got very angry. Stood up with freedom. Got to attack him. But Parvati uh, did that. Oh, wait, wait. So, Prabhuni then rested. Lord Shiva, you know, he really got angry. Mm. Then at last he went to Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu was lying. And bed of his snake bed, says Sajya, Ananta says Sajya. And Goddess Lakshmi was measuring his feet, then stand. And Bhruva Muni went there and kicked Lord Vishnu on his chest. So immediately Lord Vishnu got up and cut hold of the feet of Bhruva Muni, said, Oh, you are Brahma. Uh, I couldn't uh, know that you were coming. <coughs> you didn't give me any previous notice. So I have what to do for your Brahma. You coming to my board residence. Uh, this that was my duty to receive you. Oh, you must have been very hot. In your feet, my chest is as hard as stone. You are so soft feet, Brahman's feet. Oh, you must come in very hard on your feet, to metal in his feet. Huh? Like that. Oh. So he tolerated. Lord Vishnu tolerated the teaching of Prabhu. You understand? He didn't get angry. Oh. So Prabhu Muni then concluded, yes, Lord Vishnu is Bhagavan. Mm. So he gave you this son. That out of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesha, Lord Vishnu is Bhagavan. Because it's Brahma. Eh? Here another significant point is here. That Kaya Manam Vakya. You see. Kaya means body. Mama means mind, but in speech. Huh? Kaya mono bhakti. Hmm? So when he first met Lord Brahma, he didn't speak anything. You understand? In his mind, he just disrespected. You understand? And Brahma also didn't utter anything. In the mind he got angry. So that's mind work. Hmm? Then, then he made Lord Shiva use his speech. You understand? Use his speech. He chastised Lord Shiva like that. Yeah? But when he made Lord Vishnu use his body, he used his The guy of Manu Bhatya. Yeah? He used his mind in meeting Lord Brahma. Use the speech and meeting Lord Shiva. Use his body meeting Lord Vishnu. And at this point is also there. Yeah. Though he used his body, take Lord Vishnu to say, Oh Krishna, Lord Vishnu, how is So he is how So this Krishna tower is here. Yeah. Yeah. So Krishna, I must say, Arjuna, is requesting. Krishna, please tell right Because Krishna is That Krishna thought when came out of Gauranga Mahatma, Tarodi was a Ishnuna. Meet as tolerant as tree. And one can acquire this quality, develop this quality of tolerance by chanting Hare Krishna. Automatically. You understand? So Vaishnava is already tolerant. Because the Vaishnavas, the devotees, completely, those who are devoted to the law, engaged in loving service of the law, automatically develop all these kinds of qualities. Srimad Bhagavatam says that. 
कशाति वकील भगवत यज्ञ चना सर्वी गुणी सत्र समाप्त सूरा खराब वक्तव्य सुतम हद गुणा मनोरथनाथ की दावत भई भरोसे जशाति वकील भगवत यज्ञ चना सर्वी गुणी सत्र समाप्त सूरा वन हु इज अ नन लॉयड होती हे ऑटोमेटिकली ऑटोमेटिकल ऑल दी गॉडली क्वालिटी They may be occupying very, very elevated position here in this material world. Yeah? They may be very expert in executing their duty like that. They may be very expert administrator, yeah? very intelligent person, very learned scholar, yeah? great yogi, jnani, pandit, whatever they may be. You understand? Great. But if they have not developed some of a devotion towards Lord Krishna, they have no good quality. Guda Mahatma, Mahatma Adhuti, Dhavata Bahi. Only they are speculating, speculating, going on speculation, speculating, speculating. They are just marveling. As you take in stance of Rava, you see Rava. Rava is the son of Isravadishi, Brahma, yes, Brahma, they understand, very intelligent, very powerful, huh? you see, he has just, uh, he has just uh, uh, met all the houses there in Lanka, the gold, golden houses, you see, so opulent, huh? demigods were certain, huh? Brahaspati, And that Vishwakarma, we have met, he was in all construction work there. Yeah? And Hanuma set fire, drunk, everything, burnt off it. That immediately left there. The other person, they say, but that Vishwakarma, the bird, Vishwakarma again did, said, this is so powerful. And such spots and talent, and he has to be a pundit also. He is son of Vishwakarma, he knows better. But I'm 
ଆମେ ତ ଇଂରେଜୀରେ କହୁଛେ ତୁମେ ସେଟା ଓଡ଼ିଆରେ କହିବା Gandhi had some yogic siddhis, 
understand? So, here to do CDs, perfections. That's what we could do so. But this is not generally found. In exceptional cases. Do you understand? In exceptional cases. But uh, this general teaching is that if someone chants Hare Krishna, automatically that power of tolerance will develop, that quality of tolerance will develop, automatically. Thank you. 